Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to school. So, time to do some review axiom, math axiom in algebra. So, the first one we will do uh, Tron C T V T of equality. So, what does it mean? If A equal to B and B equal to C, then A equal to C. How we explain it? My age is five years old, is five years old. Your age is five years old. So my age equal to your age. I weigh uh, 700 pounds. You weigh 700 pounds. So my weight equal to your weight. So the equality is is just uh, through another bridge that links us together. So transitivity of equality. Can you see it? I cannot see very well because my camera is broken. Okay, the second one is transit transitivity of a four four equality four sorry four order transitivity for order if a bigger than b and b bigger than c then a is bigger than c how do we explain it i am <coughs> I am five years old. Five years old is bigger than four years old. Of course, I'm one, old, one year older. And four years old is bigger than three years old. So five years old, of course, is bigger than three years old. Right? Does it make sense? Okay, another one is I am 700 pounds. I weight. I'm a big, uh, big heavy weight. Okay, I'm 700 pounds, and you weight 600 pounds. And uh, another person, C person, Connie. Okay, my name is Alice. Is 500, 700 pounds. Billy is 600 pounds, and um, Connie is. Uh, 500 pounds. So 700 pounds, Alice is heavier than Billy. Billy is heavier than Connie. Of course, Alice is heavier than Connie, right? So it's from bigger, smaller, smaller, smaller shrink. The biggest is, of course, bigger than the smaller, right? Than the smallest. Okay, the third one is symmetry for equality symmetry for equality let's see symmetry for equality so symmetry for equality if a equal to b then B equal to A. Kind of dumb, right? <laughs> if I if my age is five, then age five is my age. And uh, <clears throat> there is hard to explain. It's just so obvious. Okay. The next one, number four, I use another sheet so that you can see clearly. Number four is reflective, 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 reflective axiom of equality. This is even even more uh, uh, strange. If x is an element of real number, then x equal to x. Or if a 
is an element I, I always use A and B so I come back to A and B instead of X A and B are all a given number or a variable whichever way you can you can interpret it okay if A is an element of the real number then A equal to A I am I, you are you, he is he, five is five, seven is seven. A number is this number. Yeah. Okay. A weight is this weight. Uh, a thing is this thing. A paper is this paper. Okay. Reflective, uh, reflective axiom for equality. Okay. Number. E is three quarter me. So three quarter me. Okay, three quarter me. Once upon a time, there are two numbers A and B. A and B are in the realm or in in the set is an element of the real number. There are three chances, A and B's relationship. Um, there are three kind of relationship it can be. First, A is bigger than B. Second, A is equal to B. Third, A is smaller than B. Okay, we can see in the number line, and because it's number line, it's only two points, it's 2D, two-dimensional. It must be a, a linear relationship. So here we have A, and anywhere a B, a B either on the left side or on the right side or equal to it. It cannot be anywhere else because we are in a linear relationship. Do I make sense? Um, Let's come back to numbers. There are two numbers random pop up, one million. And uh, negative four. Okay, one million is it's either bigger than four. It's of course, it's uh, bigger than negative four. It's either bigger than another number or equal to another number, or smaller than another number. There are only three ways these two numbers relationship exist. Okay? Thank you very much. Those kind of theories is, uh, is kind of uh, not easy to explain and uh, you know it, you know it. It does not need to be explained. They are axiom. They are the universal truths. They are the, the truths, universal truths that we based on to process our universe, to process the problem, to process our logic and the rationals. Do I make sense? Our fundamental, very basic, rule of universe was existed, was fixed on these points and this is our starting point. If you do not believe it, you are developing a new set of philosophy. You are developing a new set of universal rules. You might become Einstein, you might become uh, a Nobel Prize winner if you have that ambition. But if you do not have uh, the ambition to become uh, Einstein, uh, uh, a word, uh, a breaker, or, or, or turn over this word upside down, or if you are, you are still thinking within the universe of the Earth planet, not thinking something, processing something on Mars, then you better know this, and you better uh, agree with it, okay? <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. I love you, I really do.